see me it was interesting because when we read the spec, uh, I was not at the company um, yet, but they the spec had a great idea. I mean, magicians doing heists uh, is unique. Um, we pushed that movie forward. Lionsgate was fantastic. Uh, made it. We thought, oh, you know, this will make some money. Uh, it made three hundred fifty million dollars, um, and the movie was made for seventy, which seems like a lot, but actually it's not. Um, and three hundred fifty million dollar profit. Um, also, Lionsgate's model: they sell territory, their foreign territories out, um, so they're already making money uh, before the movie comes out. Uh, so it was something that we loved the idea, and we were very excited to make the sequel. Had the movie not made money, we would not be making a sequel. The trick with sequels, too, especially with something like Now You See Me, um, it was it was also a matter of timing. Uh, we benefited from After Earth not doing well. We benefited from Lone Ranger not doing well. We were in the middle of the summer season where um, people took their kids to the movies and they didn't know what to take them to. And you know what? Magicians sounded pretty cool. And our a huge number of our audience was 10-year-olds, which we were completely oh. surprised about. Um, and so we, you know, we always knew we had a great idea. Um, but now the, the thing with making a sequel, we're, we're working with different writers. Um, but the problem is, you know, how do you make an original idea? It worked because it was original. How do you make a sequel of that? Um, and how do you make it unique? And I think, you know, a problem that Lionsgate had with Red 2 um, is that, one, it came out four years after the first Red. So they waited too long, and people kind of forgotten the story, so they had to reintroduce all these characters again. Um, and they were kind of making the same movie. Uh, and so with Now You See Me, one, they want us to get this movie out, but we're releasing it um, next year. Uh, we have no script yet. Uh, we are making actor deals. No script yet, uh, but we know what we want to do. And we know what we want to make, and the studio wants at a certain time, so we have to fit into that time. Uh, if it if it's, comes after, they're not going to want it. So it's also a matter of when you're making sequels sometimes, especially with studio movies, they need it. They need it ASAP. Um, so that is something we're very happy to be making a sequel of, but no, we did not plan on doing that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. if you uh, one more thing on sequels. If you're a writer sitting at home and thinking about a script to write, don't write a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> I realize that might seem like uh, something that's a no-brainer. I swear to God, I got an email from somebody that said, hey, I wrote the script. It's a sequel to Big Lebowski. Deleted the email. You can't. Mm -hmm. The Big Lebowski. You, Oh, if no. the studio wanted to make a sequel, I promise you they would make the sequel. Don't write a sequel to a movie. Yeah. As a spec. 